morning, everybody. I am Dr. D.G. A.S. Preba from Directorate of Healthcare, Ministry, Healthcare Quality and Safety Unit, Ministry of Health. And I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me this great opportunity to present a part of my research findings, which I did for my Master of Science in Community Medicine. As so my research topic is the prevalence of drug compliance and associated factors among chronic kidney disease patients attending to nephrology clinic of Columbus South Teaching Hospital. As you all know, drug compliance among chronic kidney disease patients is an important factor in patient management. Now in the prevalence of compliance, contributing and associated factors can be used to provide a quality care and finally a better outcome for the patients. So our objective of this study was to determine the prevalence of drug compliance and associated factors among chronic kidney disease patients attending to nephrology clinic of Columbus South Teaching Hospital, Kaluaville. Our study was a hospital-based descriptive cross-sectional study, which was conducted in nephrology clinic. And we included patients with CKD who have been diagnosed for more than six months and belonging to all five stages of CKD who were aged more than 18 years. Patients were given a clinic number and a sample frame was prepared for each clinic. Consecutive patients who fulfilled the inclusion criteria were recruited until the sample size achieved. The sample size was 350 and data were obtained using a pre-tested interview administered questionnaire. The data analysis was done using SPSS software version 25 and Morisky medication adherence scale with eight components which has been validated and used all over the world was used to assess the prevalence of compliance. Patients obtained six and above from the above scale were categorized as having good compliance and less than six were categorized as having poor compliance. The chi-square test was used to find associations and the significant level was considered as 0.05. Uh, we obtained ethical clearance from an ethical review committee of Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo, and also from Colombo South Teaching Hospital. In our study sample, the proportion of males and females were almost similar, and among them, only 50.9% had good drug compliance. In other words, 49.1 CKD patients were not adhering to their medications. Regarding contributing and associated factors, having a nucleotide family, the presence of comorbidities, advanced stage of disease, high cost per a clinic visit showed a significant positive association with drug compliance. And also having drug side defects Complex drug regime showed significant negative association with drug compliance. In conclusion, the prevalence of drug compliance among participants was not satisfactory. Therefore, education programs should be done targeting CKD patients and periodic assessment of drug compliance should be encouraged. Thank you.